Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. The carburetor can be likened to the heart of the car since the car is just a piece of junk, metal, plastic, etc., without the engine. We all know how vital the heart of anything is. This is why we need to emphasize cleaning the heart, carburetor, of your vehicle to keep it operating optimally. In this video, we are going to discuss certain tips that will help you in taking proper care of your car carburetor. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. When to clean car carburetor, cleaning your car carburetor is necessary to keep your car functioning properly and to operate the way it ought to. However, how do you know when to clean a car carburetor? We have highlighted four telltale signs that would indicate that it's high time you got your car carburetor cleaned again. 1. When your car is not starting, a dirty carburetor affects the performance of the car engine. This is because the presence of too much dirt in the carburetor prevents the proper passage of air and fuel combinations into the engine. By implication, this would most often lead to a turnover, and your car would likely not start. Thus, whenever your engine does not start, it may be a sign that your carburetor is dirty. It's time to clean your car carburetor. 2. When your engine is running lean, have you ever heard of what it means for an engine to run lean? Well, an engine is said to be running lean if there is an imbalance in the ratio of fuel and air. All things being equal, the ratio of air to fuel is supposed to be 12 to 1 or 15 to 1. However, if there is an abnormal shift in this ratio which may be insufficiency of fuel or too much air, then the resultant effect is a sneezing or popping sound. This can also be a sign that it is time to get your carburetor cleaned. The dirt in your carburetor may be blocking enough fuel into the carburetor. This is why it is necessary you clean out the debris to allow enough fuel to the carburetor. 3. When your engine is running rich, just as explained, running rich is just the opposite of running lean. Hence, it means a situation when the balance of your fuel and air ratio is not as it ought to be. In this case, there would be more fuel and insufficient air. In a situation where an engine is running rich, the most obvious sign is black smoke emitting from the exhaust. When you notice this, be sure to clean your car carburetor as this is another sign that you most likely have a dirty carburetor at hand. 4. When your engine is flooded, here, too much dirt in the fuel bulk can cause blockage to the needle valve and prevent it from closing. As a result, the fuel would begin to overflow into the carburetor and then flow out of the bowl vents. The air-to-fuel ratio would be distorted, and the spark plugs would become wet. Therefore, if you experience this kind of scenario, then you would have to clean out the excess debris in your carburetor so as to bring your car to function properly once again. How to clean a carburetor without removing it A lot of individuals have been asking questions on how to clean a car carburetor without removing it. The reason why this may seem pretty necessary is that, when it comes to handling a carburetor, you should know that there are tiny parts of the carburetor that could easily get lost when you take it apart. Moreover, it is quite a simple mechanism to clean a carburetor without removing it at all. This method is, however, mainly used for cleaning the carburetor of a motorcycle, and that is what we'll be sharing with you. 1. You have to start by removing the bowls at the bottom of the carburetor. 2. Then spray some carburetor cleaner up inside the carburetor and wait for some minutes. 3. You will have to spray it again to make sure it fully covers the carburetor area. 4. Replace the bowls at the bottom of the carburetor. 5. Start the engine and assess its performance. How to clean car carburetor 1. You start by removing the air filter after shutting off the supply of fuel and disconnecting the spark plug as a safety measure. 2. Remove all linkage and hoses so you'll have better access. 3. It's time to remove the carburetor by loosening its bolts and nuts. 4. Blow away all the debris on the outside of the carburetor and avoid letting dirt into the openings. 5. Remove the bolt at the bottom of the carburetor and the float cover. Then remove the float pin too. 6. Thereafter, you have to pull out the float and any other parts that would not allow easy access to clean the carburetor. 7. It's time for the cleaning itself. You do this by cleaning the carburetor in a solvent bath. With a brush, you can clean away the outside debris. Pay attention to the dirt closer to the openings. 8. Clean the inner parts with a light stream of solvent or a very soft burst of air. Pay attention to cleaning the tiny vents especially. 9. Finally, after cleaning the carburetor properly, 
Endeavor to confirm that all the solvent gets out of the carburetor. You can blow air to make sure the fuel and airflow areas are not blocked. Then you leave it to dry very well. 10. After drying, reassemble all the parts back to the engine and start it. How often does a car carburetor need to be clean? The recommended time interval between cleaning your car with a carburetor is every 6 months, as this will prevent the accumulation of dirt, maximize engine efficiency and also enhance fuel economy. However, you should keep in mind that the timing for cleaning your carburetor would also be determined by your driving habit. We recommend cleaning your carburetor every 3000 miles. In either way, the key point is to clean your carburetor consistently at routine intervals. In conclusion, now that you know how to clean a carburetor, when to clean a car carburetor, and how often to clean it, we hope you do not allow too much debris to accumulate in your carburetor before you take them out. Remember, the carburetor is like the heart of your car. This is all we've got in today's video. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.